His Holiness Gopal Krishna Goswami Maharaj Ki. Oh. Uh, so, Surudas Prabhu reminded me my first uh, meeting with Maharaj. I was not in shirtis, I was in full pants. <laughs> B. Madhu Pandit, Mahasundar and Jagat Chandra, Radha Charan probably. Five of us from Hostel 4 of IIT Bombay, we were visiting uh, temple. And uh, of course we met Giriraj Maharaj, Sridhar Maharaj and also Gopal Krishna Maharaj. But that time the person in charge, that was Zonal Acharya system was there. So the Acharya for Jew temple. Uh, that was Kirtananda Swami. So he was shown to us as the, the Guru or the Acharya of his con. So we met with him. So my memories of Gopal Krishna Maharaj are not that strong of that time. But I remember one incident. Basugash Prabhu was that time very fired up uh, Brahmachari in uh, Juhu temple. He is not here. So we were sitting and he was telling us to drop out. Don't complete your education and join ISKCON immediately. <laughs> that was the mood that time. Now it's changed thanks to our Puna president, uh, Radhesham Prabhu. And it's good. <laughs> but that time it was not like that. And if you don't join then you know something is wrong with you. You have not understood the philosophy. So Gopal Krishna Maharaj came to our rescue. That I remember. He came and told Vasugash, don't disturb them. Don't scare them. And he said so strongly, although he is a very soft person, Vasugash Prabhu didn't disturb us after that. <laughs> <laughs> Nor did Yashamadhi Nandan Prabhu. So, <clears throat> that's my memory. And after that, uh, Zonal Achara system was there, so I went to Mayapur. And some interactions, but not really deep. But then in... Uh, 99, when the uh, uh, GBC expelled Adri Dharan Das, the president of Calcutta Temple, and I was in Mayapur that time, and Madhu Pandit and others from ISKCON. Although Gopal Krishna Maharaj is not a person who likes to fight, he likes to make, you know, some kind of a settlement. He likes to get everybody with him. He is against, so he was not in favor of this fight. But it, you know, it was, he tried also. He came to Calcutta. He was begging in front of me. I was not interested in taking up the fight on behalf of GBC. Although I was told, because I felt that there is some, they have got some point about Guru issue. And I still feel that way. So I was not, but then I was with Maharaj. And we went to, he took me with him to meet Adhidharan. And he was begging them, literally on his knees. Please. Don't file the case. Don't file the case. And they were not treating him nicely. And that really affected my heart. And I told Maharaj, you know, don't let them humiliate you. If problem comes, I'll fight the case. This is where my, me and Maharaj's bond started growing. And then he was there to help me in every possible way. Although he was not Zonal Secretary of Calcutta or Mayapur that time. Well, he had some operation that time in 2000 or 2001, gall bladder or some operation. He was going to be taken to operation theatre. So he is on the stretcher and he calls me. I said, Maharaj, why are you calling me? He said, no, no, please go and speak to Shaktinath Mukherjee. I said, Maharaj, don't worry. I have spoken to him. He didn't even know who Shaktinath Mukherjee is. I only told him that he is a topmost lawyer in uh, Calcutta High Court. No, no, you please speak to him and make sure he comes there in time, you know. I said, Maharaj, I'm taking care. You don't take, relax. Let your operation go peacefully. The last minute he was calling. And after operation is over, he called me back again. So I found a tremendous sense of responsibility in him, which I see unfortunately lacking in most of the leaders of his con. One of the qualities of Gopal Krishna Maharaj, which really impressed me. Then after that, when we got the temple back, it was a little dicey because the order was only interim injunction. We are in Calcutta temple and I think I was there and my wife called Maharaj and he was laughing and he was so happy. 
So he said he wanted to come. I said, Maharaj, don't come. It's still, you know, dicey. He said, no, no, I must come. I must come and visit. And he came. Before any other leader of GBC, Maharaj the first one to come to Calcutta. When we are still in dicey situation, he met with all the devotees, he encouraged them, no, you should work. Even those who were with Adhidharan Prabhu, he preached to them, you stay back with this con, you know, what are problems to resolve. Very nice, very, not that I have won now, I smash you. No mood at all. The mood was, all right, things you have done wrong, now you come and be with us. So, and then his trust in me, I think, grew after, because in between there was some problem and we got arrested and he got very angry with me. Why you did this? Why you, without court order, why you entered? Me and alone, me plus 50, 60 devotees got arrested and put in jail in Calcutta. So he called, to, he was very upset. Why you did this? Why you didn't take my permission? I said, Maharaj, I can't take your permission for every small thing I do. Then we can't win, to fight. Otherwise you come and fight. I'm not interested, I have no fight with him. No, 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 you fight. I said, Maharaj, you have to give me some freedom. If you want me to fight, you are a chairman, I respect you. That time I was not a bureau member. But if you want me to fight, I have to have certain freedom. And then we won, then he came. After that we won the case, then he came. Then after that his faith in me increased. At any time he had any issues about legal, he would call me. And even if he had some opinion, and if I give contrary opinion, he would respect my opinion more than his own opinion. That I have experienced throughout the time. Even in Bangalore case, although he is not a zonal secretary of Bangalore, he was not responsible for the issues we have in Bangalore or even Calcutta for that. But he is one bureau member or one GBC leader among all who felt the most responsibility for both. Anytime I have any issues, whether it's requirement of funds or any other support, I only would call him, nobody else. You know, so apart from chairman being lost, as somebody said, it's also somebody who's like Harike stood behind me in getting land in Mayapur. Gopal Krishna Maharaj was some, not exactly the same, but somewhat that role he played in the legal issues facing ISKCON uh, India. Other quality which I was really most impressed with about Gopal Krishna Maharaj is his sense of responsibility for whole of India, not just for his zone. I'll give two examples, not to undermine others, but to show the person for which I got extremely touched and impressed. Was Mayapur, there was a big problem, big uh, uprising against GBC took place. It's a big long story. And GBC members had to run away from Mayapur. And I was not involved in Mayapur, I had pro my own problems with GBC, so I was in Calcutta. So everybody called me to come to Mayapur. So I came and then we tried to solve the problem. And it, you can't solve problem in one day. It takes you months and months, you know, to get it resolved. So we made some decisions together. The Bureau made decision how to resolve the problem. And after one, it's easy to make a resolution. It is most difficult to implement it. You know, that has to be kept in mind. We have to implement that resolution. So he told me to stay back and, you know, help get it done. So I, Maharaj, were there. No other zonal secretary of Mayapur would come for that meeting. Continuously meeting and meeting with devotees, meeting among ourselves. They came, they left. For Jayapataka Maharaj's health was not good, but other two zonal secretaries were not always there. Gopal Krishna Maharaj did not leave Mayapur for almost a month and a half or two months till the problem was completely solved. The peace was completely established. And he asked me, you think now we are safe? All the properties are safe, safe, devotees are okay, can I go? I say, Maharaj, definitely. And I keep telling everybody, this quality, leadership plan. Hyderabad, another problem in Hyderabad. Maharaj is not zonal secretary of Hyderabad. He has no involvement in Hyderabad. Problem came. Big problem fights, literally coming in the media, going to the police. No zonal secretary of Hyderabad came. Maharaj went there personally. He sat there, tried to speak to all concerned parties, put in all his efforts to resolve. So persons, these qualities, these acts, inspires respect and confidence. So all his disciples, followers, devotees, bureau members, GBC members, I would humbly request, 
this shining example of Maharaj of feeling responsibility, applying himself, he may not be very charismatic like some other GBC members. It's a fact. But his commitment, his steadfast desire and dedication to get the problem solved and keep his con safe is worth illuminating from, for every, every devotee of ISKCON from top to bottom. <laughs> With this, I close my offering. I have many other things to say, but our chairman of this program has told us not to take time. So thank you very much. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to His Holiness Gopal Krishna Maharaj.